Welcome back, everyone, to The Wolf Among Us. Investigating and threatening. That's what we do. Alexis, Jade, Gwen, Madison, Johnny. And Faith's. Uh, broken music box. Jewelry box, pardon me. Lock's been busted open. Huh. And the makeup case. Also broken. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Huh. Weird. Can I, can I pick up the cosmetics or just look at them again? Oh. Faith. I can just return the objects to where they belong. Interesting. Okay, now I can just look at them. Huh, looks Excuse like that box me. is standard issue. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I keep hearing that. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those graphics. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. Hmm. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Two o seven. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep saying that. This is the fourth People lips are keep sealed. Using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Ah. Okay. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. I got what I have. How much it's do I got? Enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. And consider, if we had given this money to Faith, it would have gone to nothing. And we'd have had nothing to give her. But if we took Dee's money, we could have given her the rest. Room 204. Not 207? You'll think of something. Do you really think he's going to give you the open key to 207? Arms. The open arms in? This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you, Narissa. Funny. Gotta be smart. Yeah, it's pretty clearly. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just keep that face low and out of sight, officer. But yeah, it's pretty clear that there is a spell going on. Um, 
those employed at the Puddin' and Pie are literally incapable of speaking about things. More so than that, any magical form of detection is similarly incapable as well. Consider, the magic mirror was incapable of telling us where Faith was, because on the matter, his lips were sealed. That's a powerful magic right there. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? They should probably repair that. Yeah, fucking probably. What do we got? Welcome to anything like the lobby. They should cut their rates. Hmm, a motel with an hourly rate? Oh, never a good sign. This is a relic. Shit'll kill ya. You're not wrong. All right. I'll ring the bell, I guess. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh. Hmm. Uh, I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. And that's I why she's been sneaking out at night. Somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really Beast is tell a proud him. Proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will. I will. I just need to in my own time. Of course. By the way, thanks for covering for me. Ain't no problem. So, what are you doing here? I have a key. Oh. You have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Trolls tend to do that. So, uh... Oh, no, uh, no, no choice on this one. You ever see Lily with anyone? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. Okay. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Seen Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. No, it's fine. You ever seen Snow come in here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me. Even though she knew that I saw her, I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Okay, so Lily's been doing business here as a troll and as glamoured. Interesting. Seen Tweedle I around to here? Tweedle D earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. What? Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. Okay. It won't be hard. All right, all right. I can work this. I can make this work. All right. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. Sorry, just, Beauty, I can't lie to the system. If 
I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? <laughs> hmm, something, something's going on. I need to get into room 207. Let me just make sure if there's anyone in there. Sounds like someone's having fun next door. All right, locked. I you have keys inside. to these rooms. I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Open it. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't. I'll help you. Just don't break anything. All right, thank you. You can't go in there. I'm the big bad wolf, well, that's motherfucker. Weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty. Ah, shit. Beast. Big B. Oh How could you no. You do this to me. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me! With him? No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm God sure damn. you help each other just great! I know what this place is! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! God damn it, Beast! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! <sighs> I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! I knew you were sneaking around. Talk. Listen to your wife. Just calm down. And Beast. <sighs> what the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Beast is. Beasts can be big and tough, but they're all beauty muscles, really. He is not strong enough to tango with the big bad wolf. Leave him be. This is my fault. Oh god. Ow. Stop this. Beast. You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, Jesus! That is not what I wanted to do! Stop. Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! Oh, no, he's had enough. He's had enough. I gouged his fucking eyes out. Oh, no. God damn it. Didn't seem to have much of an effect, though. You ruined everything! Oh my god. She's my fucking wife! Hey, thanks, buddy. <sighs> Shit. Are you done now? What have you done? Help me with my investigation Maybe. immensely? You did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Flowers. And blood. Stay outside. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? God damn it, what the <gasps> fuck did I just tell oh you? God. Don't touch anything. Is this is this Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work <laughs> the front desk. I so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage or... Uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ. No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? <laughs> B 
Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? A fucking piece That's of exactly shit. What I'm about to try to find out. Apparently, someone who laughs too much. Cassette player. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so. Yes. Okay, that might be something I'd be able to work with. Maybe create a timetable. Compare the lilacs. I'm guessing they're the same. Yep. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand, in case there was any doubt over who died here. What do we got? The story. Book. We shouldn't even be in here. Perfume there again. Fuck off. <laughs> what is that? It's a book about Snow White, or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Hmm. Beautiful. The whole book is about her. Yeah. Red Delicious Empire Fuji. They're trying to figure out what the apple is. Was she, is she in a glass breathing? coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. So we have a like legit full on Snow White What's fetishist. Mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? bed matches the coffin. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? My first guess would be a lot. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? An oh. ashtray... Huff and puffs? It's a huff and puff. Damn I right. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Okay, so either, either the victim, or uh, the client, or someone else, one of the perpetrators smokes huff and puffs. It's a small piece of circumstantial in, uh, evidence, but it's a rare brand bottle. What do he we got? Brought wine. Classy. Wait. Didn't. Poor girl. There's been a bottle of wine mentioned earlier on in the series. I won't mention when, but think about it. The cassette. For my arrival, a. Eh? Let me look in the closet first before I play it. The dress. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Probably for the fucking. What? What are you thinking? It could be a crossdresser. It's a snow costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. It's not just Georgie, it's the she whole system. She so scared. Oh, hey there. Oh, the apple. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Murder makes him hungry. No, it's like the apple from the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Exactly. Of course. That makes perfect sense. Told you. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in the Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. <laughs> so he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then... When it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. 
I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Um, here's something I can play the day. Oh, well then, what's it? Was is das? Okay, I can't play the tape. Oh well. Still, I have it for later. I can play it at any time. What do we have here? Find out next time on The Wolf Among Us. Cliffhanger! <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to The Wolf Among Us. When last we left off, we were opening up the mystery envelope to reveal... No. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. <laughs> it was his bottle of wine. And it can't afford us using the mirror to figure out where he's gone. Oh man, it was really about to end. He could be after you now. Oh. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Yep. Seal the evidence. Absconded. They can fix the mirror. It can be mended. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Fuck off, Bluebeard. Hello, Big B. Fuck off, Tweedledee. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Big lies. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Do you remember when they spoiled that last time and it didn't happen? Trust me, still big lies. All right, so how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? 60% of players sympathized with him. And now you see why he was so concerned. How'd you treat the murder suspect? I, he wasn't really a suspect. In the, not in the murder. I just knew that he was involved. Uh, you and 62% of players persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow come with you to Trip Trap? Yeah, so did I and 91% of people. How'd you handle Georgie? You and about 70% of people didn't hit him. There's no point to knock him around. It's important. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? No, that's not important. Like... I can understand why you might do that, but like the more you understand about Big B's abilities, the more you understand that like Beast is totally useless in that situation. He doesn't pose a threat. You just need to punch him long enough to make him fucking stop and take a breath and think. Uh, so I think we're going to splice this with the last one and just keep going. <laughs> Who'd have thought there was only like two minutes left? Am I right? Am I wrong? Next time on The Wolf Among Us. Uh, we, uh, just, uh, we gotta find Crane. Crane's involved. All right, all right. Uh, l actually, let's do let's do a thing and figure out everything we know about the investigation. All right. So Georgie is not in charge. He's working for someone else. He's running a prostitution racket. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are not just doing their investigation thing. They're running. They're they're offering loans to people, extortionate loans. So Georgie's saying, "Oh, we all take care of each other." By which he means he and he. And Tweedle and the Tweedles lock people into a cycle of debt from which they can never escape, give them just enough to live off of, and make a tidy profit for themselves. Uh, all right, we got that. Uh, so the murderers are the people who ship the body. Are it was two people who were there, and one of them laughs too much. So keep an eye out for the laughing man, or probably man. Just saying. Um, Lily was hooked on drugs. Uh, sort of got swept up in the city. Uh, Holly doesn't know anything about it. Um, right. The Glamour is a cheap knockoff. Um, it works well enough to indulge Crane's fantasies. Um, and, yeah, Crane has always had it out for Snow White, and that's why he always is 
uh, treats her the way that he does because he is upset that she won't fall in love with him because he's a creepy old man. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. So the, the, the woodsman is obviously not involved in any of this at this point. It's pretty clear. Unless, of course, he's a hitman for the bad guys all the time. But um, Beauty brought up one name that should be very important. The Crooked Man. Remember that. So the Tweedles took out the loan, gave her the loan on the Crooked Man's behalf. So remember that. Um, and that's that. All right. Uh, Crane's a sick, a sick, sick monkey. Uh, good night, everyone.